I just realized I've never shot a video of my home. Nobody knows what it looks like where I live. And this is the front entrance. And these gates are common on Vietnamese homes. Let's open this. Here's my bike. The front patio. I don't know why everyone puts gates on their homes. I mean, there's like no crime. And now we'll step inside. And, uh, and this is the front area. There's always a little shrine for Buddha and the opening of, of the home. Tulip's piano, one of the pianos. My shoes, hers are all outside and scattered elsewhere. Treadmill. And the rug, I bought that rug and I love it, but she doesn't want to put it down because she's afraid it's gonna get dirty. This is one of the rooms as where I keep my clothes. And some of her stuff is in here. But this is mostly my stuff. And like office things. The printer, fax, copier thing. Um, Let's move down the hallway. And this is a bedroom. Her messy bed. All of her stuff. Her wardrobe where her clothes are. And then this little contraption here to steam press the clothes and the fan which is very useful I mean we have an air conditioner but sometimes it's just not necessary so we put the fan on let's move into the kitchen we're getting ready to, you know, move our stuff to the new house. So not everything is put away where it could be or should be. And that is so we can have fresh drinkable water. Not all the water here is drinkable. Not from the tap anyway. It's our washing machine. And some of our kitchen appliances when and food and we have a I don't know a slicer this is a meat slicer like you'd find in a deli I insisted on having that the one pot for boiling water and another thing I have to have coffee maker this little rack is cool when you when we wash our dishes just hang them over the sink and they drip dry digging that and then we have a gas apparatus here for cooking and the gas tank is under the counter the big pink thing is a gas tank and boxes and apply from appliances and so on. Our oven, this little electric deal is our oven. And then we have uh, this little thing seals lids on drinks, on, on cups. Uh, she, when she had one of her businesses going, she was selling tea. Uh, different t drinks and juices and you know uh, she put it in a cup and seal the lid on it and down here different syrups for coffees for flavored coffees and flavored drinks 
in our bathroom, and this is a typical Vietnamese bathroom. Um, the vent is a big hole on the ceiling. This guy has a hot water tank. It heats the water rather quickly. Um, but this is standard setup. Um, you walk in, there's the sink, the shower, and the toilet, right? Um, open, and it's all open. There are no walls, no enclosed shower. I'm hoping to have an enclosed shower in our new house, in our new home. Um, washing machines are not all that common. Most people still do their laundry by hand. And then out here in the back, boxes from our appliances and things, and, and a laundry rack, a drying, drying line, so we can hang our stuff to dry. Usually, when, after hanging, it's dry in an hour. So you don't really need an electric dryer, except in the winter. So I'll probably get one of those. So because winter is coming up soon and I'll want to wear dry clothes once in a while. And this is our disaster before we move. Sorry it took so long to run this, but you know, so many things on my mind. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.